Ashley Bunny here and today we're playing on Roblox Dress to Impress once again and I am so excited because I love Dress to Impress like this game is like really like starting to grow on me like at first I was like okay like I don't know if I like playing it that much now I'm playing it like all the time <laughs> so it's really grown on me and as you guys can see by the title I mean I don't really have to explain but today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that should be in Dress to Impress or 10 things that I wish were in Dress to impress you know what I mean and I've made these kinds of videos before like I did like 10 things that should be in Royal High and you know what a lot of those 10 things literally like ended up being in the game so I feel like when I do videos like these I'm kind of like speaking it into existence <laughs> like I know it's like they didn't put it in the game just because you said it but it's like I don't know I just feel like I'm making a difference you know what I mean so obviously we're going to be dressing up at the same time and also um these are just like my things that i think should be in the game or like ideas that i've had like you know like just fleeting thoughts most of the time but if you guys like feel like anything should be in the game or if you feel like you have an idea of something that should be in dress to impress please make sure to leave a comment down below i seriously want to hear it like i want to know what you guys are thinking so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the idea ideas so the first thing that i think should be in dress to impress so this i made this list like i'm reading off of a list clearly but i made this list like a while ago and i made it before like the huge update so my previous number one was more skin tones in a color wheel for the skin tones and they literally added that into the game before i could even like speak on it so I was like, dang, like I'm gonna have to think of something else now. So the thing I thought of to replace that for number one is ombre hair colors. Like how cool would it be if we had ombre hair colors in the game? Like I feel like that would be truly game changing if we could like have ombre hair colors. Like right now we can do solid hair colors and things like that, but like how cool would it be if we had the opportunity to have like ombre hair colors like purple to pink or like brown to blonde, you know, things like that. And I didn't write this down, but I truly believe that we should have like some more hairstyles. Like we have hairstyles in the game, but they are extremely limited and I always end up basically just using the ones I always use, which is fine for a little bit, but then I'm like, wait, like <laughs> I kind of want you know something more some more hairstyles you know just some more things to do with like the hair category so number two is different walk styles so how cool would it be if you could choose like different struts like different walks <laughs> to come down the runway or even just in game because right now everybody like has the same walk so what if you could have different like walk styles like i feel like that would be super cool super unique and also just a really good addition to the game i feel like everybody would like it. And number three, so some of the things I put on this list uh, my boyfriend actually helped me with because we played Dress to Impress like a few times. Like we didn't play much because he didn't enjoy it that much and I'm going to tell you guys why. So he really didn't enjoy <laughs> playing it that much because he like realized that there wasn't a lot of masculine hairstyles in the game. Like the game is lacking so bad in the boy hairstyle department. So we have all these, you know, these girl hairstyles. There's like some, like here's one for boys. This one, this one doesn't even have a thumbnail oh okay it was just glitching i guess this could be for boys like there's barely and i mean barely any guy hairstyles like he was struggling so badly with finding an outfit because like he just couldn't find any hair like he has uh locks so it was like very very hard for him to like find a hairstyle that represented him especially because he's black like on top of him being a male and having a masculine style he was also black so it's like where are the, like they have the little afro or whatever i just feel like they could have a little bit more like even for females like where are the box braids where are the bantu knots where is the curls like where are they i'm wondering i'm asking i'm begging well i'm not begging <laughs> I, I take that back. I'm not begging, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's not that serious. But I am asking, where are the black hairstyles? Like, I know they added some new ones and were like, you know, they, they are trying, but it's like, on top of there being like, hardly any masculine styles there's like hardly any black styles either so i feel like i mean there's hardly any styles in the game period you know what i mean it's not just black styles there's like barely there i think there's like 
14 hairstyles. I think, I just think they need a lot more for like how big this game has gotten. I truly think they need to add a little bit more hairs and I think they can. I, I feel like it, <laughs> it can be that difficult to find hairstyles that people would enjoy in the game and especially males and just put it in the game. Like I'm not complaining or like saying boo or like throwing tomatoes or whatnot. I'm just saying like, I feel like it would be, you know, a really, really good choice for this game to have more masculine hairstyles and more hairstyles in general, but mostly masculine. <laughs> because that's what I wrote down. So number four is the tweaked voting system. Like I I think we should have a tweaked voting system is what I meant to say, but I just feel like the voting system is a little rigged. But then again, I don't think there's anything they can do about that. This is happening all over Roblox on all types of games where you vote, like especially in dress up games, like Sunset Island and Royal High, even the Astro Renaissance pageant, you know, stuff like that. If people feel like your outfit is good, and this is only in very rare, well, not very rare, but uncommon circumstances where people will vote for like the ugliest outfit because they feel like, oh my gosh, like if I like vote for this ugly outfit, then the person whose outfit is good or whose outfit who I'm jealous of, they're not gonna win. So that's a win for me. I swear, that's how people think. Like, I swear that's what people are doing. Well, I'm gonna vote for the person who is dressed in all gray, you know, like no skin tone, no face. Like I'm gonna vote for the blank avatar cause I don't want, you know, so-and-so to win. I, it's just very weird, <laughs> very weird sometimes. <gasps> I got second, GG. Um, but anyways, guys, like I was saying, the voting system is a little weird. Like I have, <laughs> I can't even think of ideas to fix it right now. Cause like, I don't know about the mechanics. Like, I don't know anything about that. Honestly, number four is kind of just like a thought, <laughs> not really like an idea, but number Number five is pets. This is a dress up game. It's about fashion. It's about, you know, how you look. It's about following the theme. But I feel like that would be really cool if you could have like little pet accessories. Like if you had like a dog and cat section or something like that. And you could have like a little dog walk next to you down the runway or like a little cat in your lap or like a purse dog. That would be such a cute accessory, like a little purse dog accessory who like barks and blinks or whatever. <laughs> like an actual interactive pet. Like that would be super cool. And I would love to see that put into the game. I don't know how they would implement it, but I just, that would be so cool. Like maybe like a parrot on your shoulder because I know other people like you know different kinds of pets just stuff like that I feel like would be really cool like quality of life additions to the game that would make it like just a little bit more fun you know number six is more body shaped and I put in parentheses plus size petite etc so right now we're at this like very thin not very curvaceous as you can see um body which is okay like people look like this in real life. This is not unrealistic body standards, like by a long shot. But I just feel like not everybody looks like this. Like not everybody is like model thin with like super extremely long legs and a short torso. Like that's not how everybody's built. Inclusion should be the goal, especially with games like this. I know people are like, the argument is like, well, this is a fashion game. And I don't <laughs> like, <laughs> I've seen people be like, no, like it's it's only fair that everyone has the same body in the game. Cause if they added plus size, then people wouldn't vote for them. But I'm like, at least give people the option. Like at least give them the option. So yeah, number six, honestly, I just feel like they should maybe have more body types, maybe like a kind of like a, maybe a body proportions type scale scalar or something i don't know guys like however it's implemented i just wish they would have more body types you know what i mean like not everybody's built like this and that's okay number seven is again i made this before like like weeks ago i made this weeks and weeks ago okay i just had to pose on them for a second but okay number seven is more nail shapes and then i put in parentheses again square stiletto etc so i feel like that they beat me to it but like not really so like we have nails and they're like Okay, this is really good. So we like have nail shapes, but we only have two at the moment. And one of them was only for April Fools. <laughs> like those long baddie nails were like super long square nails. But like the default nails are literally just like almond shaped nails, like rounded nails. And then we have like no other option for short nails. We don't have an option to take off nails. I just feel like there should be a little more options. And number eight, and sorry if I'm not voting, I'm literally like trying to read this <laughs> and like also pay attention to the game at the same time. So number eight is a height slider. And then I put in parentheses, not too crazy. And then I underlined the word 
two because I'm like, it would be cool if we had a height slider to make you like a little bit shorter than normal or like a little bit taller than normal, but like don't go too crazy. Cause like you shouldn't be able to like, you know, be so tall that you're like out of the frame all the way up here or like too small that you're like at like knee level. No, I feel like it should be like minuscule height adjustments to make it just that much more realistic. <gasps> I got second, oh, period. And number nine would be more men's apparel. And then I put basically the same thing I put for the hairstyles. I said, lacking, comma, my boyfriend said so. So <laughs> honestly, I made this list like right after I played a bunch of dress to impress my boyfriend. And I was like kind of disappointed because I felt really bad for him because we were trying to do duos, but he's like, I am so sorry, I can't make a good outfit. There's like no hairs that I know how to style, no hairs that look like mine. Like the clothes are limited. There's like nothing for men, nothing masculine. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, babe, I'm sorry like I wish this game was better about that and I truly do I really do wish the game was better about that so that boys who want to play dress to impress could also enjoy it just as much as the girls do like let's look at the men's apparel there look how small their section is and then look how big ours is there's some over here there's some over here these are all for girls all of this is for women and there's like none for this whole thing basically the whole vip section is for women except for a few pieces and there's like barely any for men and i just feel so bad because i just like i feel like there should be more going on for like men who want to play this game like i really do feel like there should be more things going on and lastly guys number 10 the very last thing that should be added to dress to impress are like settings like photo settings and options to to like remove this GUI and like when you are in photo mode because right now if I want to take a photo up this close I can but I have to adjust it and I can't like can I hide my name I think I yeah I, can, I think I can hide my name tag photo mode I feel like we should probably kind of tweak that a little bit like I wish dress to impress had like an option to remove the GUI in photo mode because the bar at the bottom is like super distracting like as a side note I put that maybe we should have like a free camera mode like you know how we have like a cinematic mode in like other games like Royal High Astro Renaissance RK2 things like that like games that I play a lot I feel like we should have that feature here like we should have like the option to you know go shift p and have free camera mode obviously with limitations you know don't want people flying all over the map because this is a very small map with a lot of like places that they teleport us to i think it would be so cool like see i'm just gonna show you guys an example so if i want to take a thumbnail photo i could do it here like the quality is okay from here but like it would be so much better if i could just go into photo mode and like do something like this have it be up close but like have this bar go away like this bar just won't go away like i don't understand <laughs> i just need the bar to like go like it would just be a lot cleaner maybe that's just a me thing honestly and like probably because i'm a content creator and <laughs> like probably because i'm a youtuber and i have to make thumbnails that's probably why i'm saying like that would be so you know that would be great if i had this in the game and da da. but i know a lot of people probably wouldn't like really put that to use and like i said if there are things that you think should be added to dress to impress please make sure to leave a comment down below about it and i love to like read you guys' comments and reply to them and have like little conversations with you guys in the comment section so i really do encourage that um before i end the video can we see if we can get this video to 100 likes like the video right now and if it's not at 100 likes leave a like and if it is at 100 likes leave a like <laughs> like if this video surpasses 100 likes i want to push for 200 likes this video so please make sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy and as always please do make sure to hop on that like button comment down below and subscribe to become a bunny and to join the bunny garden this has been your girl ashley bunny here bye Mwah.